Inside. In the very, very center of the room, there is a 10 foot uh, diameter circular uh, brazier looking thing um, that's got a large roaring fire with blue flames uh, coming out of it. Do any of you have water? Um, I have some holy water. Surrounding this brazier is a very expensive looking uh, <coughs> custom made circular uh, carpet. And around the carpet is a collection of chairs. Um, off to one side of the room is a statue of a mage holding a uh, actual ball of fire in his hand. There's a, an actual ball of fire in the mage, oh, that's in cool. the stone mage's okay. hand. Um, <clears throat> there's also a, uh, a large beaker with um, what looks like liquid flames, um, and then there's also Hmm? Yeah. Um, and then also uh, off to a different part of the room, there is a huge 10 foot glass sphere uh, held up on support, like big metal supports. And inside of it um, is a nebulous kind of omnidirectional fireball that's just moving and kind of swirling about all on its own accord, also in blue flame. I go and look at the big freaking sphere. All right. I. You see something amazing, I've never seen before. Which is that? <laughs> I uh. Do we I have? have do we have? I drink some potion. fire resistance on. Wait, what? It's not a potion. It's a huge beaker, like a man-sized beaker. Uh. With what looks like liquid fire inside. Of are it. you man enough to drink the man-sized beaker? I take a little sip. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, actually, I, I roll an intelligence check to see how stupid this is going. Uh, eight. Okay, you feel like this could be a terrible idea, then or I, it could be a great idea. It could go either <laughs> way. Do it, man. Do it. Do it. No, I'm, uh, do it. I do it. I dip, that, I dip my finger in first. You dip your finger in. Um. You feel an intense heat uh, my finger? radiating, oh. like like just your finger feels like it's on fire, but you're not taking damage, and it's not like actually on fire. Dude, stick, stick your whole hand in me. Pull it out. Okay. I stick my hand in. Uh, same <laughs> sensation. I'm bathing it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, there's not enough, and you can't get inside that far. Is that a challenge? Mm. Getting inside? Yes! It is a tiny mouthed beaker. Ha, ha, ha. Can I, um, so I. Yeah, like maybe arm size. I. Well, we know what the potions of fire resist are, so I try to make a perception check in comparing what I, I have observed of that to this. Yeah. Is that it does not look like anything like it. Doesn't look it looks completely different. I mm -hmm. go and check out the brazier that's. All right. Is there anything significant about the I walk up the um, stairs. Oh, there's stairs in this room? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mention that there are stairs in this room. Oh, that well go then yes, we walk up the freaking stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of just got really caught up in describing the rest of the room, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, all right, well, okay. <laughs> I know this, I wouldn't have bothered with the freaking beaker. Well, do I notice anything like up the stairs? Well, like, as I go up? Um, no. Nope. I get an 11. I mean, there's a door. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess the door locked. I try the door. Yes. It's quiet. Okay. Pick, so pick. I try to pick the lock. All oh, right. Pick. So is that sleight of hand plus um, proficiency with the useful? Um, no, that's not sleight of hand. I think it's a dex check. Okay. So no, no, no sleight of hand. Yeah, sleight of No, hand. it's dex. It's a dex check that you then add. Thieves tools add make allows you to add proficiency to your dex. 
I have proficiency with thieves' tools. Right, so you get to add your proficiency okay. bonus to it. So, okay. so that is a plus eight. I got a 21. All right, you crack that door open. Um, you are able to gain access, and uh, inside well, this... Uh, I like push it off the next slowly and make sure it doesn't hit anything. All right. Because uh, last time that happened. As you, uh, as you open the door, you peek in, and you see <coughs> lots and lots of suits of armor. Just like checkerboard mm. suits of armor. I take a copper piece and I throw it through. All right, you throw it through the room. Um, it uh, it flies right next to uh, one uh, suit of armor in particular. Uh, the suit of armor reaches up, snatches it, and uh, just like there's a huge burst of fire in its hand, and you see uh, drips of molten copper fall out of its gauntlet. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> well mm. I throw a platinum piece. Exact no! same thing happens, except platinum burns up. Sweet. There's now platinum slag on the floor. Do you understand how freaking rich we are? Because I do. You won't be that rich long if you keep doing that. I will cut your another platinum. I catch it right before. No, it you can't. Dex check. Dex check. Dex check. You do a punch. Ah, he gets a seven. Alrighty. So, so we don't have to go through this door. Can we continue going upstairs? Do we have to go through this door to go up? So these stairs, like once you open this door, uh, you see that the room is entirely filled with those uh, these suits of armor. Yeah. And then the only other set of stairs that you can see is on the opposite side of the room. I run downstairs into back into that place, and I drop um, copper piece into um, the like big liquid thing. The big liquid thing. Okay. Um, nothing happens. It just falls to the bottom. Okay. I was wondering if it like melted metal. So then we could like pour it on the floor and like melt all the robots. That's cool. Um, I go down and I, I just, I, I'm gonna boss the walls here. I'm gonna just drink the potion. Oh, oh no. You take a little sip, a little sippy poo of that oh. liquid fire. A little sippy poo, okay. <laughs> uh, how much are we talking? Like shot glass? Save, like save some for us. You're the, you're the guinea pig. There, there's shots. several gallons worth it. We're going uh, shot, glass, shot, glass. shot glass. Yeah, yeah, shot glass. Okay. Um, you feel uh, kind of a burning sensation uh, down your throat, very vaguely similar to like uh, really, really nice uh, whiskey. Um, and uh, you feel quite warm inside, uh, but beyond that, not a whole lot happens. I need the same. There's a shot? Yes, a shot. Correct. Same thing happens to you. I don't. <laughs> Is our judgment impaired at all? Uh, no, your judgment is not impaired whatsoever. <coughs> You're still fully uh, cohesive. Alright. All right. Uh, I do another shot. In the middle. I take another shot. Oh, it's a decorative piece. Okay. Another shot? Another shot. Okay. Um, uh, you're feeling uh, much warmer, and uh, your entire body kind of begins to heat up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do it again. I stop Wait, here. Do it again. <laughs> no, no, do it again. Because if you get hot enough, then you can melt the robots. <laughs> then you, we can melt the robots with you. Or I can die. <laughs> well, does he? All right. Pain? So I, I no, see. Is, is I, this is this um, dangerous for me? I'm trying to like think through. Okay. The is there an arcane body. knowledge? No. There's an arcana. Yeah, dual arcana. Should there be an arcana? Uh, twenty-one. All right. Um. To the best of your abilities, uh, you discern that this potion is uh, meant to imbue uh, fire-like properties in whoever consumes it. Oh man, I just dip my I head down and I'm down, down from the fountain oh. of... I drink <laughs> three shots. <laughs> okay, so, so you guys go a little nuts. I, um, I do. Oh, oh, we, <laughs> do it Share it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it, there's more there than any of you, like the three of you, could feasibly drink all at once. So, um, but you drink enough to uh, get the desired effect. Um, you guys can now all, for the next hour, um, gain resistance to fire damage. Oh, yeah. Um, you can now also cast Burning Hands 
as a uh, standard melee attack. Can I still use my weapons? Um, it would be either your weapon or if you're unarmed for some right, reason. But you like, can do I mean, hands. What does burning hands do? Correct. Because it's based on. Um, it's okay. in a I have Nate's book. Yeah, go to If I shoot an arrow, will the arrow be on fire? No. Nine. What if I lit the arrow on fire and then shot it? Will the arrow be on fire? And then it would work. Sweet. Just trying to keep my options up. Alright, so mm -hmm. um, I go back up to the room with the knights. And I All say. Right. Is Burning Man's actually nine. a spell? I think yes. I am uh, self. <laughs> 15 foot. Uh, as you hold up your hands with thumbs touching with finger spread, a thin sheet of flame shoots forth from your outstretched fingertips. Each creature in a 15-foot cone was make, must make a dex saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed save, or half that much on a successful. <coughs> uh, the fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. And, um, yeah. So... We have, in essence, we can spew fire in a 15 foot cone. Yep, everyone can just go like, fire! Just like that. That's the. Thing. Oh, you gotta touch thumbs. Yeah, you gotta do this. So it's. I so like I, I know this, of course, right? Like how it works. I, 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 I know this. Thumbs. Nope, Th this is the hand motion. So. Alrighty. So that's awesome. Dude, we should start like a like rage concert. So for the next hour, you guys can all do that. Uh, let's say do one encounter. Let's just wait for the. Let's just wait for the assassins. And I'll be right. <laughs> Alrighty. So. So we um. We just. I'm gonna walk into yeah. this room. I am too. All right. So you walk into the room. I use stealth behind them because <laughs> I can do that. I actually you, can. you you want to try to stealth. Uh, through magically robots. robots. Multiple it. dozens robots that have like blind sight and stuff. Yes. Have fun trying to. No, do I said no, it was a joke. Alright, so who's up front? <laughs> <laughs> I pulled my gun out just in case. Alright, uh, These are suits stick. of armor, correct? Yes. <laughs> These are suits of armor. Um, as you enter the room, <laughs> well, we might need to get Dude, out of the burgers room. for lunch. Um, as you uh, enter the room, uh, let's see here. Is there all another platinum piece? Oh, real quick, could I have technically filled up uh, my skin with, uh, like, I have water skin mm -hmm. with this potion? Uh, sure, I'll let you have done that. So so now you have a uh, a water flat or a water skin uh, full of this burning hands potion. Yeah. Oh, that's right. This flame pot. Okay. So what what do we what what happens now? All right. So as you uh, enter the room, um, who's up first? You're yeah. up, you're up front. Um, you see that the closest five uh, suits of armor all uh, suddenly have a burst of flames just kind of envelop their entire insides. Um, so it looks very similar to uh, this picture, except uh, imagine flames everywhere. There's oh, a chink in the armor. So flames coming cool. out of the eye holes, flames coming out of all the joints, so out of the like knee. The destroyer like, from Thor. What? It's kind of like the destroyer from Thor. Something like that, yeah. Um, I. Uh, um, uh, and they come at you. Roll initiative. Can I have advantage on initiative? Nope. <laughs> I get a 23. Uh, hold on. Three. I've got to do some numbering. I have a 17. I have a 17. Roll a 13. That's like two years from now. Yeah. Well, he got 17. So that's kind of Dude, did you say five robots? Uh, the closest five, yes. Dude, that's like these guys. And then, here's us. Oh, which one do you want? Um, this guy. This right here in the front, and then I'm back here. Oh, I 
because uh, hey, let's focus this guy or this middle guy. Um, so, uh, hold on, let me do some quick folding. Because la last time I checked, we weren't very uh, beefy. Okay. What's your uh, that's what the room looks like, basically. Oh, dude. Shiz, no. Um, oh, wow. Um, I said a lot. I meant a lot. That is a poop ton. Alrighty. Woo hoo 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 hoo. This sucks, I just, like, guys. Run for it? So, one square is five feet. One square is ten feet. Um, Short. How, how, how wide is this room? Um, it has a diameter of 170 feet. Or no, uh, 180 feet, I'm sorry. So, in a dead sprint, you have to travel 180 feet in total. Or a straight line, I mean. Which... Um, we... Let's, how let's far can you sprint? Um, you can sprint, I believe, double your normal How How speed. tall are these robots, and how high is the ceiling? Um, the robots are uh, six feet tall, and the ceiling is uh, ten feet tall. Who goes first? Oh, I'm sorry. What was your guys' initiatives? Flint? Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, <coughs> roll, read, 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 read. Got a 20. And Galeen? Uh, 13. 13. Okay, so read goes first. Then... This is gonna be... Um, no, we can't do this. We have to go back. No, 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 no. There's something no. else. No, no. Flint. Galeen. That guy. Okay, what, what is dash? Guy. What is dash? Um, get out the rule book. There it is. It's, um, do you want me to look it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you find it. Okay. <clears throat> because this is actually kind of paramount. Because... So, these guys are awake? One, uh, two, three, four. Are, who's, oh, so he goes first. Um, yeah, Roland goes first. You mean Reed? Reed, Reed, Reed sorry. <coughs> Reed goes first. So if I, if you two teleported across the room, we're set there. Mm hmm So, maybe there's something with the Brazier that we can maybe figure out. That's what I'm hoping for. With the big flaming ball of fire downstairs. Uh, what's the... Or maybe I can throw a bomb into the room. Do it. Let's. You can do whatever you want, man. Well, I'm the DM. I'm what's your biggest bomb? What your, what's your biggest bomb? Are not can we just sing, can we just like? Uh, you'll take some uh, tax opportunity. A lot of it. I have to engage, so. So be? you might be fine. Cool. All right. Might maybe. Whew. All right. Uh, how does this engage work for tax opportunity? Hey, it's turn first. You can go. Yeah. Um, I don't know what word. This is confusing. Um, it's a bonus <coughs> action, so where's combat? You can just search in the very back. There's an index, and you can do disengage or whatever. That's a possibility. Mm. It's, it's my habit. So you've got a lot of animated uh, armor to deal with. A bunch ton. I can teleport. And we can go through a robot. <laughs> I mean, you guys are resistant to fire, remember that. Yeah. You did just gain that, uh, that property. So what if they like grabbing me? Sphere and just like run up. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. But wait, wait. What if we're in? Maybe there's something inside the brazier. You want to look inside the brazier? All right, we we. we. Um. Well, there's still initiative, so. Uh, 
You guys are gonna have to do something about that. And so he's still in front of me. He's still in front of me. So I just disengage and run. Okay, so Reed, you uh, you just haul off. Yeah, he's just like GTFO. All right. So no, I would not say that. Um, uh, the uh, the first animated piece of armor uh, goes forth and uh, hits whoever's closest. So who's that? Me. You? Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Roll a 19. Uh, yeah, that definitely is. Um, and then that's going to do... <coughs> uh, 8, 10 fire damage. Oh, so you're resistant to fire. So you're resistant, so you take half that. 10, so 5. So you take 5 fire damage. Oh, yay. Yeah. Oh, joy. 52. Um, and basically, just like flaming punches you. It's like <laughs> punch. Exactly. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Um, come here. I leave the room as well. All right. Um, you can choose to disengage as an action, or you can just take an attack of opportunity. Why, why, if I'm leaving the room, why bother not disengaging? I'm All right. Rage. So take an action to disengage, and then you move your movement speed out. Goodbye! Um, and then Galena's is up next. I run, and I close the door, and I lock it. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for someone to forget to close the door. That would have been great. <laughs> and I lock it. <laughs> uh, you can't lock it. Oh, perfect. I close the door. <laughs> close the door. All right, cool. Um, so you guys are uh, temporarily out of initiative order right now. Um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to check out the brazier. All right. I was in the middle of the room. Yep. You go to the brazier. What do you do? I uh, just jump into the brazier. <laughs> okay. Uh, you take uh, four divided by two uh, fire damage. <laughs> you might want to get out. <laughs> You're on fire. Is is um? I didn't fall through some trap door. Nope. I I leave. I out. go over to the sphere. <laughs> okay, you go to the sphere. Um, do I notice anything that I can about the sphere? I mean, it's nebulous fire without a source. It's just energy happening. I go over to the, to the, to the statue. Uh, I investigate the entire room looking for anything. What do you get? <laughs> roll the poop. I do as well. Seven, I roll a mm -hmm. I roll a seven, so I get a 14. 14. I do detect <laughs> magic. Uh, Only in this room in particular. There's magic all over the place. There's magic in the basically all the sources of fire magic. Yeah. And any any items that are shiny. No <clears throat> shiny items. Dang it. How many times can you do teleport? Twice. And only twice. So we so we say. Oh no, uh I didn't find anything. Yeah. I forgot you to didn't find anything. Because I no. got two. The room is what's in it. You've already found everything there is to find, basically. I look at the, the statue and I investigate the statue. Alright, you investigate the statue. Um, 20. Uh, I mean, besides the flaming ball in its hand, nothing spec like spectacular. The brazier. It's got the I investigate name. the brazier. Brazier's got magical 19. fire, man. Nothing special about it besides magical fire. Magical fire is a thing, and that's about can the I, only um, thing that's interesting. Can I roll an arcana check to see if we can somehow break the cylinder with the big old ball of fire and control that fire to bring it into? Uh, sure. Oh. I rolled a 9. Oh, that's good. Um, let me see the book real quick. This is arcana, so... Yeah. Right. So... I say we just go back up there and run through. Oh, um, I vote that he teleports with you over on the pirate to pick him up. Well, that way he doesn't use the teleport. You, to the best of your abilities, think that within the sphere um, is a continually uh, operating spell of firestorm. Can you move it? You would want that out. <laughs> So, uh, basically, Firestorm is just, like, happening inside of this sphere. Just like, oh. Um, can I determine, appraise, 
see how much it would take to break this sphere. Um, sure. Can, yeah, can I make some... Um, roll a perception check, that'd be. Oh, man. Seven. Uh, seven. Well, it's not too uh, too difficult to see that it is uh, made of glass. Oh, it's in glass. Let's move it. I mean, it's big, like ten foot sphere. All right, let's break it up and move it. It's together. Freaking heavy together. How yeah, about let's let's pick it up together, break it right in the middle of this room because we can't fit it up the stairs. Unless we can fit it up the stairs. Can we fit it up the stairs? Um, yeah, I'll roll up the stairs. Okay, yeah, let's roll, roll it up, up the stairs. stairs. Roll it up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, and the room. And then just bust it. No, 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 no. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door and then bust it. Oh, no. Open the door. Roll, roll it, it into the room. Okay. Close the door. No. Yeah, and bust it. Close the freaking door. <laughs> no, bust it. And then okay, bust okay. It. okay, what happens when we roll it into the 